navigator, spent six years in Newfoundland. He cut his teeth in navigation and surveying in Newfoundland. He was here between 1662 and 1668, Captain Cook. Lord Nelson was here, Horatio Nelson, uh, in the mid-1700s. He spent a week here, I know, in St. John's. Henry Hudson was here in 1609. Jacques Cartier was in our harbor in 1541. And uh, on and on it goes uh, with all the old explorers and so on. Um, yeah. So, uh, well, Benedict Arnold spent time here, too, yeah. If only the pubs had guest books then. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I'll mention, relative to Cartier, Cartier said in his writings that France should never have gotten involved with the fur trade uh, or the forestry or farming, but should have only concentrated on the fishery. The fishery. Uh, I'm just mentioning that because I'm aware of that. And uh, I know that Cartier made three trips 1534, 1535, 1541, and uh, the French started fishing here in our waters permanently in 1504, 1504, and the Portuguese started in 1501, and the English started in 1498, and uh, yeah. And of course, for those that don't know, there are two French islands off our coast, part of France, mm -hmm. uh, Saint Pierre, Miquelon, and uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Yeah. Now, the very reason why Saint John's is where it is is because of the harbor. There is no harbor on the east coast of Newfoundland like Saint John's Harbor. Well sheltered, narrow entrance, easy to defend, and that's why Saint John's grew up here. And I will just mention, for what it's worth, St. John's apostrophe S. Why? Well, because this island early in history was called St. John's Island. That is why we have the apostrophe S. As well, very uh, simple to explain newfound land for you because in a letter given to Cabot by King Henry VII as he awarded him the pension of 10 pounds he said to him who found the new found land and so that's where it comes from King Henry VII but the island of Newfoundland amongst a number of countries for a number of years was called St. John's Island or the Isle of St. John's. Uh, that's how it was. And it lasted long enough to be transferred to this geographic spot because this was the popular spot even in the early 1500s. So when Cartier was here in 1530, uh, 1541, there were 30 ships from around the world here then. 30 ships. And uh, so, yeah, that's how it goes. I thought maybe 450,000, 600. But it hasn't sold yet. Not sold yet, no. no. Somebody might bid seven, how about that? There you go. You'd never hear tell of those prices years ago, never, never, no. Is there a law in the city about painting your house white? Uh, no, you, you can paint whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. It's 
so you got some pretty houses up ahead there now. I'm going to park right here. You're welcome to get out and take some pictures. Who else has got a color? Is it a color? Prefer yeah, you prefer. One? She likes the blue one because of the mailbox. Oh, mailbox. The mailbox. I like red. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty too. I like the teal color though, I like that, yeah. So how often they paint? <laughs> uh, of course, depends on two things. Depends on the quality of the paint and depends on the weather. Case closed, yeah? Heading to Kitty Vidi Village or Quida Vida Village. It's Latin. Nobody knows who gave us the name. It's on our maps over 400 years, and it means what I saw. What I saw. All of this in front of us as we go, this is pre-1892. 1880s down to 1830s, all of this here. 